guys, in today's video, where are we whispering? I don't know. I don't know either. But in today's video, we're going to be checking out some paper craft. Stuff that we have, uh, man, that thing's been around for what, at least a year, maybe two? It's kind of got shuffled in, uh, this one, you know, inventory so. rotation and it keeps coming up. Uh, we've kind of looked through it, but not really. It's uh, got some paper dolls and some stamps and, I don't know, all kinds of stuff. Some cool old, oldie timey stuff. I think I even saw some Star Wars stuff in there. So, let's go check out this box that's been sitting around. You want to? Oh, Basil does. Who else wants to? B? You want to? Okay, let's go. All right, guys, check it out. See what we got. Box full of paper crap. All right, from this point on, we had some audio te technical difficulties, and we even had the whole video uploaded, and we had to redo this audio. But we want to show you this content, so. We're redoing the audio on all this. We apologize for that, but there's a lot of good stuff in this box. Look at these uh, paper dolls here. They took paper and they put it on some wood. They're kind of hard dolls, and they got a little dowel rod there that you hang the different clothes onto. And hats. Yeah, there are yeah, a few there hats. There are a few hats. Um, it was well taken care of, that's for sure. Look at here. Oh, boy. It's cold outside. I feel it's cold outside. That's kind of the voice I did there. And I tried to replicate it the second time. Now here we're putting on a winter outfit. Uh, the hat kind of snaps into where the coat is. Oh, it's cold. I'm putting my coat on. Cheerio. Cheerio all. It's she... cold and I got my little hand muff here. So I got the little ham up there. It's a cute little doll. Um, do you remember the days when people played with paper dolls? I mean, that's kind of crazy, I think. But still around. I still make them today. Uh, a lot of fun. You can punch them out, put clothes on, I guess. I don't know. I never played with dolls. But uh, we bought this uh, box. We kind of wanted, we saw, I saw a puzzle in there. And there's a three-pack. Actually, it was a three-pack of Disney puzzles. We'll get to these later. And that's what I actually bought. The Look at this daisy. These are just paper cutouts. Yeah, they cut them out of, like, magazines. There were some uh, uh, different books you could buy. And they would cut these out, put little tabs on them, and they would use them to dress their dolls with, especially if they were the same size. So here's some old, um, at least old vintage uh, styles of clothing. Look at this little cat. Oh my goodness. That's the cutest old vintage cat I ever saw. And there's a little Where's Waldo hat. Although in 2024, uh, for, in 2024, I heard Waldo's finding himself. He's taking a little Zen tour. Instead of Where's Waldo, us finding Waldo, Waldo's going to take some time to find himself. Look at that little photo that was also in with this stuff. Uh, pretty cool. And uh, we we definitely like the old vintage stuff. Look at this bonnet. That's a like a sleeping bonnet that they'd wear. Has like a sticker and a brand. Oh, maybe that's magazine writing. So they'd cut that out of a magazine, but it seems thicker than a magazine. So maybe a book or some cardboard. Uh, there's a... U.S. Navy. U.S. Navy hat and a bonnet and a hair tie so what else do we got here stamps. oh yeah we found stamps in here and uh actually we do find some stamps inside here they're uh see and they're from all over the world tammy kind of goes through them and talks about some of them i don't know what all's in there but definitely a lot of crazy stamps if uh if you guys think of anything or see anything you want us to do just a specific vlog on, like the stamps or one of these Barbie books that we find later or whatever else, uh, comment in this video and we'll try to make a specific video just in that to show that stuff. But 
this is our first time going through this box. It was pretty cool um, finding all this stuff. Well, actually, this isn't the first time. We did go through this box uh, after we bought it. The story with the box is I went to buy the puzzles for a dollar. And the guy at the garage sale said, why don't you just take the whole box? Um, there's a lot of paper craft stuff in there. And I was like, I don't really want the whole box. And he's like, oh, I'll just take the whole box. It, it, there's some pretty good stuff in there. So I took it for a dollar. Or maybe five dollars. I don't know. But not much. And um, this is, I kind of went through. I saw a few little things in there. And I was like, okay. But a lot of paper doll stuff, which you're going to see there's a lot of paper doll stuff in here. So I wasn't real sure um, what that stuff was or even if it had any kind of value. It sat around for the last couple years. Found some state flags in this stamp book, but they were kind of stuck together. And even these are stuck together back to back. None of them were used, but from just sitting around, they got stuck together, so... That's unfortunate, but uh, back to what I was talking about. Um, the box sat around for a couple years, and we didn't really think much to look through it, but I was pretty impressed by the few little things that I found, some stuff in there that I didn't really know, like these stamps were in the stamp book. Uh, and I knew there were stamps in there, but I didn't know there were like collectible stamps. I just thought they were the ones that they sent with the book. But there was additional ones, and they're still in really good condition. There's a lot of good ones in there from all over the world. And then the Barbie books, there's a couple Barbie books in there that haven't even been used. I mean, they're brand new, brand spanking new. And I look for them online to see some uh, price value. Uh, and we can find them from 81, but this is a 1975, so pretty crazy. You'll see that here coming up later. Now, this is a Back to Basics book, How to Learn and Enjoy Traditional American Skills. It's got everything in here from weaving to um, everything. It's got everything, and it's all basic primitive skills. It's pretty cool. So I apologize for all of the seven people that watched this video before we caught the fact that the audio was all screwed up. Here's you the had puzzles. To, had to suffer through that and i apologize three puzzles in a pack yeah these are disney puzzles this is what i originally bought this box for there were three puzzles in a pack they're all disney i really like them they are vintage uh one's going to mom's house one's going to stay here um they're this very one well is taken care of donald and mickey in england talking to the soldier guard yeah the guard that doesn't talk the silent guard and then here's donald talking to his dr quack looks like he's talking about daisy and then here's uh mickey and goofy in the jungle taking a little safari there so pretty cool puzzles and uh they're they're called the think big pieces they're not real big but they're medium size i'd say nowadays but definitely a pretty cool find. Now here's some uh, books. They are really beat up. These are Star Wars books. There are some color uh, kind of reading books and reading books with, with pictures. And then there's this coloring book. And there's only one page in this coloring book that I saw that was used. Is this one right here. The Luke Skywalker had been colored. The rest of it is completely unused. So pretty cool now the pages are pretty beat up on all these we did try to press them lay them flat and press them but it's been some water damage some fading but the pictures are still pretty cool the inside Darth Vader there on the back got a little red lightsaber and do you know who these people are Tammy CP3O and R2D2 <laughs> C3PO and R2D2 uh, close, close. And there's, I am your father. There on the front of that, pretty cool. I'll probably give these to my son. I don't know, maybe I'll put them in a shadow box. Here's a brand new Disney princess uh, paper doll book. 
all the Disney princesses and some clothing that you can dress all the dolls up in. And it's brand new, never been touched. You just pop them out and play with them. Now, you can put any of these dolls on a piece of wood and cut them out. That'd be pretty cool. Now, this is that Barbie book I was talking about. The 1975 Barbie. It's got the American flag colors on this. the front. And then there's Barbie and Ken on in their swimsuits. And then they have some jumpers that they can wear. Uh, classic 80, 70, late 70s, 80s jumpers. And then there's some more clothing here. Some uh, looks like some airplane, maybe flying type tennis. dress up type things, tennis and dress. some tennis clothes there. Interesting. And what else do we have? Just some normal stuff. And here is I'm not sure their names. The other two Barbies. In male and female. If you know their names, comment below. So that's brand new. Never been used. You can just pop them out. Put their clothes on. Barbie and her friends. Very cool. And here's a Campbell's Kids calendar. Featuring the light, the light ones. Whatever that means. Had coupons in there. Had coupons on the back. What does the light ones mean? Campbell's Did kids, the little? light one. Oh, little ones. Little. Maybe little, little ones. One. Maybe. I couldn't read it. I don't know. There were three or four of them in there. Some of them were brand new and some of them they used for cutouts. And what year was this? 1980. 1980. Wow, that's a long time ago. You know, uh, here in 2024, if you have a 1996 calendar, uh, you can use that 96 calendar this year, 2024. It's the exact same uh, dates. That's never happened before, so pretty interesting. Uh, I think 24 is a leap year. All right, so let's move on. we got a bunch of folders of some paper craft here. Well, this is all kind of paper craft stuff for the book but these are paper dolls and they just kind of keep them in these uh, vanilla envelopes they have um, labeled different years and some dolls now some of these I looked through are damaged in some way and they're probably missing pieces but this is just stuff that whoever had this box was collecting and there are some pretty cool there's Snow White in her whole attire and then there's a Barbie with a like case. suitcase uh, with a bunch of clothes in there, Barbie, um, and all of her different attire. And let's see what else we got here. Do, 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 do. Barbie. Yeah, that was a Barbie. Lots of Barbies in different years and duplicated as well. Barbie. And there's the wild things, right? I can't remember what it was, but it was little kids. Party with animal. Costumes. Party it's called animals. the party animal. And there was a a young girl and a young boy in different attires, and they even had some uh, like look like a raccoon dress it up and a princess dress up. Now this one's very old, Mr. and Mrs. Santa. There's Santa Claus and his wife, and then some clothes you can put on them which is pretty cool i like these the santa clothes and then we have christy by dulce that's a very old one um and here's a crazy one i can't find anything on it. it's judy garland and her little dog too dorothy and toto and there she has her uh, wizard of oz dress and shoes that she wore on there and there's a whole kind of a story and background on Judy Garland on the back of that as well. The Quints. Here's the Quints, which there should be five of them, right? Yep, and they were all there, and they all have different clothes and accessories. So there's five little babies there, all with different clothes and different accessories. 
So that's American Girl dolls. Uh, from all over the world, it looked like. And, um, no, they'd all be American, wouldn't they? But we're all Ariel. from around the world at some point, I'd say. Or our ancestors. Some of these were empty and some of them were labeled. That was a napkin with the doll on it. Here's uh, Jean Jeans, I think it's called. Jean Jeans, paper doll. And uh, it is punched out, but it's in there. She just wears a bunch of jean type clothing. Uh, what else do we got here? Sunshine the Sunshine family. family. That was pretty that crazy. That was brand new. Never been used. Italian boy and girl paper dolls with Italian style clothes. And here's an old one. There's Kirsten's, Kirsten's paper doll. And that's an American girl. And that one I actually found for like $25, $30. And this is uh, Molly, Mary, I can't remember her name. Now, this is more of an older style pin lady, up. like a pinup style girl with a bunch of clothing of that era, the 1920s and 30s. And that was pretty, that's an older one. But she's missing her arm. Uh, one of her arms is missing. Here's a... Indian with a baby uh, and a papoose. A papoose. That's pretty cool. And there's an older vintage Barbie. Right there. You got some color your own clothing in that Barbie set. That's pretty cool. No, those aren't. Those aren't. That's not X-rated, guys. That's where you put their arm. See, I'm explaining this to you. The arm goes in that. That's not her other things that are on they're movable the you can make them so they're movable yeah the arms can move up and down they can wave and uh that's a uh called a movable paper doll now these are pretty cool these must have been dolls that whoever this person was was making themselves and it's so crazy we find one in here called the tammy tomato and i'm going to do a specific vlog on that but this tomato uh has clothes and stuff and it's tammy the tomato it's so funny oh here it is check this out tammy the tomato look at that it's got overalls a little skirt we're gonna do some we're gonna do a vlog on that that's that one i'm keeping i might even cut it out i might do some vlogs with it i love tomatoes and i love tammy and there's tammy the tomato it's so funny <laughs> Oh, I love it. I know. And there really was a uh, cherry tomato. So here's just some old uh, magazine TV. pictures. So it's got some old advertising and some def some dolls that were in the old magazines that you would cut out and play with. Um, and somebody kept all these pages. So you can cut all the stuff out and kind of decorate or play with them there in your house. Put them on, uh, they, a lot of these mag, uh, paper dolls suggest that you put it on thicker paper, glue it to thicker paper before you cut it out. Um, so that's what they did. They would take cardboard and glue it to the back and then they'd cut it out. So play with that. Uh, here's some old vintage furs and dresses that they would wear. Some ancient Greek stuff there. That's something different. Another Barbie. With a suitcase. A Barbie with a suitcase. And this is like the box that never ends. We just got Many all kinds of crazy memorabilia in here. Paper dolls. Didn't find a Mickey Mouse, but there was a Minnie Mouse. Interesting. So here we got something in here. I don't know what this is. This looked interesting. It was just an envelope. But there's just some weird magazine cutout in there. Now, what was the other thing we found? Oh, it was a magazine article about what? It was just a magazine article about... Oh, uh, the princess. Princess Diana. Oh, the Princess Diana paper doll. It wasn't actually it was in clipping. there, but it was a, a newspaper clipping about the Princess Diana paper doll. Uh, baby 
baby something love. Miss wow. Piggy. Now we have uh, Miss Piggy here. And she's got a little Kermit the Frog uh, outfit there. That's pretty cool. So, Miss Piggy, Kermit the Frog. Got different outfits for Miss Piggy there. Oh, and it's Baby Piggy. It's the, uh, the Baby Muppets. Remember Baby Muppets, the cartoon? That's yeah. who that is. Baby Miss Piggy. And they go on all kinds of adventures. All right, peace, guys. Peace, y'all. And as always, we want to thank all of you who come and watch our videos, hit that like button, and share us out. Please consider becoming one of our members. We want to thank our members. Time to Shine Homestead, Just Doing Our Best, Aerial Viking Ventures and Victuals, Roy and Becky's Travel, and Native Wild Man. We also want to thank our Patreon supporters, Mary Ranch, the Vineyard Chicks, and the Timbrook family. All these links are in our description.